some use case examples. We are doing a lot of private homes, so I'll not go through the residential use case examples. I already gave you a few. But uh, let me explain about some more uncommon or some use cases that you might not think about uh, that Shelly can actually uh, help you with. One story is about a Norwegian um, EV charging company. So this is obviously uh, not their picture, uh, but an AI generated picture. But the idea is that this uh, company is using Shelly devices to integrate into their system. It's a big problem in, in many countries that if you have more than one electric vehicle and you're starting to charge them at the same time, you might not have enough power inside your house and you might blow the fuse of the incoming, uh, of, of the incoming le electricity. So what this company does with Shelly is that they're using our three-phase energy meters installing the three-phase energy meters, and then they're able to monitor the total house consumption. If um, the total uh, house consumption is close to the um, limit, then we are able to balance the load output or the charging current of the electric vehicle. So that's the idea, so load balancing basically. Another project is a very large Nordic uh, bar and disco uh, chain that are using Shelly at the moment uh, in their clubs and bars. Uh, they use those uh, use our devices uh, in, in the clubs, bars and discos to be able to uh, make weekly scheduling and to save a lot of energy consumption. Because why have your ventilation running 24-7 when you only have open two to four days a week so uh, with some simple smart scheduling, it is possible to turn on, turn off the heating, the coolers, and much more only when you need it, and, and then start saving a lot of electricity. And uh, another cool thing here is that they are able to monitor the energy consumption of all their bars, discos, and clubs uh, from their uh, main office. Another case story uh, is a company uh, who are making gas stations together with Shelly. So they're not using our app for this, but because we have the open API and we are supporting MQTT and other stuff, uh, this company is uh, able to pre-configure the devices. They have made their own MQTT server and they are actually using Shelly devices, up to 50 Shelly devices on each gas station uh, in countries like Denmark, uh, Sweden, Germany, Hungary, and more. Um, they're using Shelly devices to monitor uh, coolers, freezers, and similar. They're also using them to, um, to control and monitor the temperature of the climate in their car washes. They're using Shelly devices to monitor the air compressors. And in general, just to control lighting, uh, to monitor energy consumption, and similar. Uh, this is a quite cool project uh, made by one of our Finnish partners. So this is the Levi Ski Resort, the biggest ski resort in Finland. So they are using Shelly devices to control the lighting, but they're also using Shelly devices to monitor uh, real-life data about the weather, so the, the, the temperature and the humidity. And because of our open API, uh, the Levi Ski Resort are able to show real-time energy data on the website uh, from measured by the Shelly devices. There's also a Sun Center chain in Denmark who are using Shelly devices. Uh, they had an issue with the payment terminals. Uh, sometimes they needed a simple reboot to start operating. And it can be quite cost, uh, quite expensive uh, to send out a technician just to reboot the device. So by installing a simple Shelly device behind each payment terminal, they could very quickly reboot the payment terminals when they are getting a support call, uh, saving a lot of time, saving a lot of money. And actually, this company become uh, became very happy about uh, the whole project. So now they started to use Shelly for their uh, access control, for energy metering, for lighting control, and uh, and much more. In Denmark, uh, we also have a very big amusement park called Sommerland Schellen. Uh, again, this is not a picture from, from them, uh, but, uh, but this amusement park is using Shelly for many different things. 
Uh, the technical responsible in the amusement park uh, figured out that by using Shelly, they can actually save a lot of time instead of walking around, turning on, turning off uh, televisions, uh, coolers, and, and different appliances. Uh, it's much easier to install Shelly around the park. They have uh, Wi-Fi available uh, in, in most of the areas of the park, and in the areas where they don't have um, Wi-Fi connectivity, we are actually able now to control the devices as well because we have just launched the long distance communication module, which makes it possible to, to control devices up to five kilometers away. Uh, the company, uh, the amusement park is also using Shelly devices. I don't know the, all the details, but to measure the power consumption of each roller coaster and similar, um, because then they are able to calculate how many times the roller coasters has been running and so on, uh, making them able to uh, predict when they need a service check of uh, all of the roller coasters. Um, and in the end, actually, they can save quite a lot of money on this. Um, we have a lot of uh, partner integrations also when it comes to PV and energy solutions. Uh, so this is just a part of them, some of the most uh, interesting ones. Uh, we are working closely together with some of these companies, but some of the companies also just decided to integrate Shelly into their own app without asking us. Uh, and this is doable because we have the open API, which everybody can access and uh, to make local integrations. You can also make uh, cloud integrations. If you contact us first, then you can get access to our cloud API, and we are and you, and you will be able to integrate our devices both locally and via cloud service uh, directly to your own solutions. 